standing tall behind me is UAE's first and biggest traditional Hindu stone temple in Abu Dhabi which will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 14th of February. Now this temple is not just a place of worship but a pillar of strength between the two nations. From the history to the inception and how such a masterpiece has been created which mixes traditional and advanced technology. Come let me give you a detailed tour of the BAPS Hindu temple right here in Abu Dhabi. Located on the Dubai Abu Dhabi Sheikh Zayed Highway, the BAPS Hindu Temple is a reflection of spiritual harmony. The construction of the mandir is currently in order and once complete is said to be a spectacular marvel. The temple premises will also have a community centre, a Southwick food court, an amphitheater and even mini sand dunes as soon as you enter. This is not just any Hindu temple, but UAE's first and biggest Hindu stone temple, which is supposed to be the biggest in West Asia. And it showcases the beautiful harmony and friendship of the two nations and civilizations. Speaking of the history and story behind this architectural marvel goes all the way back to 2015 when Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the UAE and it was then when the UAE president gifted the land to build a temple in Abu Dhabi which is approximately over 27 acres. It took years for the design and digital model of the temple to be ready and it's in 2018 when Mr Modi visited the region again for the foundation stone laying ceremony. Now imagine a Muslim king donating land for a Hindu temple, where the lead architect is a Christian Catholic, the project director is a Sikh, the structural engineer is a Buddhist, the contractors are Parsis and the chief consultant is a man of no religion. People from all countries, communities and religion have given their hand to build this temple. The temple has been derived from the Vedic sculptures and architectures. Many of the carvings and statues have been made by the artisans in India and have been shipped here. The temple is 108 feet tall. Over 40,000 cubic meters of marble have been used. 180,000 cubic meters of sandstone. More than 1.8 million bricks. And there are more than 5,000 carvers who have breathed life into the finest Italian marble for the interiors and pink sandstone that has come from Rajasthan for the exterior. Importantly, the central shrine at the temple will be of Swami Narayanji. However, I love the fact that the temple has the presence of all the deities from across India, from north, south, east, west, and their stories beautifully embedded inside. From Ram Sita, Hanumanji, Jagannathji, and even the Rath Yatra, and many more such stories have been carved at the temple. It's also worth mentioning that the temple is an applaud to the location as the seven spires that you see resemble one for each emirate like Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, Dubai and so on. And what sets this temple apart is that there are more than 500 different trees, plants and shrubs that have been planted. Interestingly, they also have some fossil oaks that have been planted which are over 7,500 years old. The eccentric architecture and timeless nature will definitely give a unique experience to the millions of visitors. While the temple is still in construction, it will have a beautiful representation of the three holy rivers of India, mainly Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati. 
there will be three kilometers of water features carrying 130 gallons of water that will enter from the eastern boundary and flow all the way to the western boundary of the temple, forming the Triveni Sangam of the three rivers. Speaking of some of the technological advancements, this is the first temple in the world that has embedded instruments during the construction time that will predict the behaviors while calculating parameters and will generate a new theory for the structure design. There are 300 sensors that are continuously emitting live data to the engineers as we speak and will continue to do so for decades to come. It's truly a proud moment for the Indian community here as the Indian expatriates make up 30% of UAE's population and the Hindu community makes up 10% of it. This is UAE's way of making them feel at home and welcomed. Now, Mr. Modi is expected to come for a two-hour inaugural ceremony on the 14th of February and the mandir is expected to open to visitors as of March 1st, 2024. I hope you like watching the detailed tour of the BAPS Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi. This is Bianca Saurashtri. I'll see you soon with many more such interesting updates only on Curly Tales Middle East.